New video to show you tonight. Another hit to San Francisco's Chinatown. Murals dedicated to celebrating Asian cultures have been vandalized. KPIX 5's Betty Yu is live in San Francisco with the new video. Betty? Liz, I spoke with the artist who helped create these murals, and she says she believes the person behind this act is the same person responsible for two incidents in one month. Tonight, the California Attorney General is also announcing new efforts to address hate crimes. New surveillance video shows a man wearing a captain's hat strolling through Jack Kerouac Alley. He stops and then appears to deface the wall of murals. The next day, a San Francisco artist known as McConaughey discovered these markings on her work. But it wasn't the first time. On April 12th, the man she believes is the same person is seen on camera vandalizing murals. You can see him writing on Bruce Lee's face. You should be ashamed of yourself. You know, this is a very strong community. It's the oldest Chinatown in the United States. And you have no right to deface symbolic symbols like Bruce Lee and Choi Son, the god of wealth and prosperity. McConaughey has used her own funds to clean off much of the graffiti, but she needs more to fully restore the work. She created a GoFundMe page to help pay for supplies, including anti-graffiti coating, which is pricey. In response to the rise in hate crimes in California, today Attorney General Rob Bonta launched the Racial Justice Bureau within the State Department of Justice. We're prioritizing the tools that we have, uh, the legal tools, the, the, the uh, ability and power and influence we have to defend and support and uplift uh, civil rights uh, to make sure that we are making sure that our, our school climates are, are, are fair and, and safe and, and, and supportive. Uh, making sure that in the middle of this um, horrific hate crimes crisis uh, when it comes to the API community that we're, we're stepping in and stepping up. Betty, the video is pretty good. The pictures are pretty good of this individual. Do police have any leads on who the suspect is? Well, the artist tells me that she has a pretty good idea, and actually she will be meeting with Officer Will Ma tomorrow to go over the evidence with him. She says that she has already sent over all of the surveillance video to the San Francisco Police Department. Liz? All right, Betty, thank you.